They look like red trees dotting the forest near Jasper, but they're actually dead. Killed by the mountain pine beetle infestation that swept through BC and Alberta in the 90s, leading to this warning from Natural Resources Canada in 2005. Trees killed by the mountain pine beetle create huge fuel reservoirs just waiting for ignition. Throw in climate change and hot, dry summers, and you have a recipe for wildfire. But in that recipe, how much did the dead trees play a role in the recent Jasper fire? You know, if you were to ask that question 15 years ago, um, I think you'd probably get a different response. Chris Bone has done extensive research on the topic. Climate is such a main driver of these fires right now that whether they're occurring in mountain pine beetle areas or not, uh, I think is becoming less of a concern. The drought, heat dome and high winds that Jasper experienced during the fire all exacerbated the impact the pine beetle trees had. We had those dead fuels accumulated and then down on the ground contributing to the intensity of the fire. Um, it, was, it was a major factor. And Lori Daniels would know. She's studied the fire history of Jasper National Park. It's these extreme weather events superimposed on those heat domes with a lightning ignition was really just the perfect storm. Parks Canada, the organization in charge of managing the forest in the park, believes nothing different could have been done. Fire was 300 meters high, 100 meters above the trees. There is nothing any human on earth or any piece of equipment could have done standing in front of that wall of fire that would have allowed them to stop it. Parks Canada did undertake prescribed burns and the removal of individual trees to try and mitigate the fire risk. But even then, it would only make a small dent in the 19 million hectares across Western Canada that's been impacted by the pine beetle. Mackenzie Gray, Global News, Ottawa.